Now, one would assume, after you've proven that you are the biological father of that child and you've jumped through all the hurdles and hoops and paid what you had to pay to become legal father, one would assume that they would just give you automatically visitation. Uh-uh. Remember I said the courts are blind. They don't know your situation. For all they know, the mother live in the Blue Lagoon and you live on the moon. They got to know when the next carnival cruise coming by and the next spaceship discovery taking off. They got to sort all that out. But when they do, they're going to give you something called a set visitation schedule. Man. As far as I'm concerned, gentlemen, once you get that set visitation schedule, that is checkmate. You have won the game. You could drop your mic and exit stage left. Boom. That was a love the building. Thank you very much, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Two reasons I think you won with said visitation. The first reason I think you won with said visitation, said visitation puts an end to something I hear 90% of guys complain about all the time. And it's something that the baby mother, the custodial parent does sometimes just to control the situation, enact some kind of revenge, or sometimes just being plain old evil. And it's something called parental alienization. Parental alienization. And all parental alienization is, is she won't let me see my child because... She won't let me see my child because I won't give her any more money. Or she won't let me see my child because I got a new girlfriend. Or she won't let me see my child because I was choking her the other night. I mean, any old, well, you can't be choking people. But just about any old reason, she's not letting you see the child. But a set visitation schedule, oh, that nips that right in the bud. Matter of fact, if she give you any resistance after you got that set visitation, she can go to jail. Because after all, it's called set visitation order. It's from the judge. Like I said, new sheriff in town. That's the first reason I think you won with said visitation. The second reason I think you won with said visitation, said visitation gives something to a child that I think is more valuable than money. It's more valuable than money. And that is time with you, Dad. That is valuable time with you. See, all my kids are grown, and when I have conversations with my grown kids, they don't, they don't talk about past Christmas presents and toys and all the material things I might have bought them when they were growing up. But they do talk about past moments, past experiences that we shared together. Like, Dad, you remember we were little and we took that trip to Florida and it was like an eight-hour drive, Pops. Man, you had us laughing the whole way down, Dad. You were so crazy. We had such a good time. Oh, Dad, you remember we was at the beach? We was in the water. The water was blue, splashing around, the white sand and the seagulls and the palm trees, just splashing around. And, and Dad, you always playing practical jokes. Play too much. You play too much. We thought you were trying to act like a shark, trying to scare us with your practical jokes, but... It was a real shark, Dad. It was a real shark. Man, I was running on top of the water. I was running on top of the water. It was only 80 stitches, Dad. It was only 80 stitches, Dad, but I had such a good time. That's what set visitation is going to give you an opportunity to create moments, memories at the pool, at the park. Baseball, football, tennis, checkers, chess, video games, reading books, whatever you and your kids thing is. Set visitation give you an opportunity to create those moments. And to me, that right there is priceless. Gentlemen, that's the final step in the ROP process. If you get a DNA test, become legal father, and get that visitation order, it's almost guaranteed to make any child support situation better. Not perfect, but better. I got to wrap this thing on up. I'm running out of time. 